Uh, we'll, so we'll see if that gets the job done. Alright, after I get my screen back down to where it should be, we'll check out my opening hand. It would be a fine hand if I had some white sources. So I am going to have to mulligan this. Man, this would be a really nice hand if I had some white sources. Hoplite into uh, glare, or um, into, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to glare my own hoplite. Hoplite uh, into Chosen by Heliod. Yes, I have to mulligan, unfortunately. Ew. Yeah, I got to mulligan again. don't have anything to do, so I'm going to have to mulligan to four. Okay, well, I can't mulligan to three, so no. So if I pull out of this one, it'll be a miracle. This is always the part where I look down to see how long the video is, and if it's like three minutes long, I just assume the guy loses and move on. Okay, so we got our other source. And he has no pressure on the board, so things are not as bad as they could be, right? Alright, does he have a two drop to smash my face? No two drop. Alright. We're on our way. We've got our two mana down. We've got to hunt the hunter for whenever we draw a green creature. Which actually thinking about my deck, I'm a little sparse on green creatures. And so this one might actually come out just depending on how things go. Okay, there we go. I've got a creature. I'm the first one to play a creature in this game. Here we go, twenty turn clock. Beware the hoplite. I actually have something to do next turn. I can Divine Verdict, whatever this awesome thing is he's about to play. I don't know that that's the thing that I want to Divine Verdict. If I can get a green creature, I might like to fight this. Right now it only makes a single mana. So I'm not too worried. Okay, I get another forest. If I wanted to, I could take this down. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swing in. Because it's free. He's tapped out. I can't really do anything. If he blocks, then I have the option of Divine Verdicting. Oh, there we go. I got my one damage in. So now, I can Divine Verdict when he swings into me. And I still get the same thing done. I still take down the Acolyte. Oh, he's got his planes. Or I can save it for that giant Polis Crusher. Okay, so that is Trample, Pro, Enchantments, Monstrosity 3 it. He can actually do the next turn. So I could be living the dream here if he pulls a land, this tries to, mon tries to Monstrosity it, and I get the Divine Verdict. Oh no, he doesn't even have to pull a land, he just has it with that. Okay. So I'm going to sit back on my Divine Verdict. That is a continual amount of land that I have. Okay, well I don't have any action, but I am about to blow up his Polis Crusher, so I'm okay. Alright, nothing to do. He's got his land in case he wants to also attack with the Acolyte. No blockers. He did Monstrosity it. Okay. Not that what I was hoping for. There's the Battle Master. So he's got plenty of green creatures to fight. I just don't have any green creatures to make them fight. Okay, so he's got a bunch of dudes out. That's why he did Monstrosity. Okay, well... I can prevent the next one damage that we'd be dealt and put it back on something else. Okay, so that doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Um, but it does... Yeah, I can still target this and prevent a source of damage. So I'll probably do that. See, it'll make it a 2-3, which doesn't actually kill anything. Alright, he gets a raise by wolves off. He gets two wolves, 
and that gets plus 2 plus 2. So he is almost certainly going to beat my face in. He does not have enough mana to monstrosity this. But I can still Divine Verdict. So I can block over here and absorb and Divine Verdict this. That could later be a 4-4 four, four with Trample. Do I want to protect here? Yeah, I probably want to take this down. So I'll Divine Verdict this. Um, so, since I can't really get any more than one, I'll just divert the damage over that way. Although I'm pretty sure that it won't work because this uh, prevents all the damage. Okay. So this is going to block at least one of the damage here. So that'll trample through for one. I'll take two. Okay, so my life total's not the problem, but his board presence is. And I need something that can take down the Polis Crusher. There's another Aura. Man, let's play another one of those. So I'm losing to some some cards that are good, some cards that are awful. Okay, so I've got my skirmisher. I don't see that change in anything here. He's got Yeah, I'll play it down. I'm kinda hinging back and forth right now between not giving him any more information. And attempting to win this one. I'll put that down for now. I don't have a whole lot to do up against this Polish Crusher, Polis Crusher if he monstrosities. Which looks like, yeah, that's what he's going to do now. It's a 7-7, seven, seven, so I can't really take it down. Yeah, this time I think that I might just shell up and wait for some more information on him. Okay, I can't take one of those down without any kind of pain. Seven, another four. Okay, so I'll have to block there. So he'll get me for nine, take me down to four. And unless there's a wrath in my deck that I forgot that I drafted, I think I'm pretty much done. Let's see what do I get. I get eight planes. Okay. So, I'll F6, I'll uh, run some time down off of his clock, and I will see you in the next game. Okay. So, I saw an artifact. One enchantment. Still not that wild about the idea of uh, putting in any kind of enchantment destruction against that. Is there anything in here that I really don't want that I would rather have something like a Battlewise Valor? Let's see, now I do have, I've got plenty of things that I would want to target with the Hunt the Hunter here. Especially, well, I shouldn't say plenty. I have three things that I'm pretty excited about that targeting. So it's not the best card in here, but he had so many green creatures that I don't